This video will cover the topic Amplitude, Period, and Phase Shift of Sine and Cosine Functions. What is Amplitude, Period, and Phase Shift? Good question. Let's define Amplitude, Period, and Phase Shift. The amplitude is the vertical displacement from the maximum point to the point of equilibrium. In other words, half the difference between the maximum and minimum points. When a graph repeats itself, it has a period. The period of a function is the horizontal distance of one of the repeated segments. A phase shift is the horizontal shift of the plot. Now let's look at the equations defining amplitude, period, and phase shift. When looking at functions of the form a sine of bx minus c plus d and a cosine of bx minus c plus d, the amplitude is the absolute value of a, the period is 2 pi divided by b, and the phase shift is c divided by b. If c is positive, the horizontal translation is to the right. If c is negative, the horizontal translation is to the left. We assume that a is non-zero and b is greater than zero. Also, c and d can be all real numbers. If c and or d is zero, then there is no phase shift. Let's do an example. Find the phase shift, period, and amplitude of the function. y is equal to negative one-half sine of 3x minus pi fourths minus one. Give the exact values, not decimal approximations. The function is of the form a sine of bx minus c plus d. First, let's define the variables. A is equal to negative one half. B is equal to three. What is C and D? C is pi over four. D is negative one. Correct. Now that we've defined each variable, we can solve for the phase shift, period, and amplitude. The phase shift is C divided by B. When we substitute in the variables, we get pi fourths divided by three. This is equal to pi twelfths. C is positive, so the horizontal translation is to the right. The period is 2 pi divided by b, which is 2 pi thirds. The amplitude is the absolute value of a, which is the absolute value of negative one half. This equals one half. What does the variable d do? The variable d demonstrates vertical translation. When d is positive, the vertical translation is up. If d is negative, the vertical translation is down. The vertical translation is d, which is equal to negative one. So the graph moves down one unit. So our final graph looks like this. In summary, we look at the sine or cosine function in terms of variables a, b, c, and d. Then we substitute the variables into the equations set for amplitude, period, and phase shift. Amplitude is the absolute value of a. The period is 2 pi divided by b. The phase shift is c divided by b. If the phase shift is positive, then the graph shifts to the right and vice versa. Lastly, the vertical translation is d. If d is negative, then the vertical translation is down and vice versa. Perfect. It seems like you're ready to solve more sine and cosine functions for their amplitude, period, and phase shift. 